Hello peoples, it's 12 a.m. right now, and I just got done watching Tenet. I cannot believe I am recording a YouTube video where I just started this video. Honestly, I never thought I'd be here. I, I just watched Tenet, and I loved it. I thought it was really good. Um, let's get my problems out of the way first. Um, I don't know why they did this, but... Why, when you're having heavy... Well, Christopher Nolan, if you're watching this, which you probably won't. Why, when you're having an important dialogue and exposition going on, why do you make background noises louder than your characters? Seriously, I had to watch like 15 Ending Explained videos. So, N Nolan, next time, maybe you could make sure you hear your characters. <laughs> Sorry, but it, it was really irritating when it came to um, some exposition scenes. Not all of them, but some. And my other problem is, th it's just, it's a problem I have now, but probably won't have in a year or two. Because this movie is just a lot to take in. It's a lot. It's a lot of movie in this movie. It's it, Even with its two and a half hour runtime, I felt like it almost needed to be longer. Um, there's a, a lot of characters, a lot of stuff going on. And it's just a lot right now. From right now. Heck, this could... In a year or two, I'll f completely understand this movie. And then I'll be like, Tenet's a masterpiece. But I know I feel right now, I feel overwhelmed. And that might affect the score a little bit. But let's just get into what I really liked about this movie. The visuals in this movie. Holy cow, the way Nolan has everything just moving backwards. And characters moving forward. And certain characters are moving backwards and some of them are moving then and it's like then and you don't know it it it's beautifully mind-boggling it's i'm surprised i didn't get one of those um good headaches i've ever gotten um when i talk about good headaches it means um i watched a movie that's so good i got a headache um but it's confusing i got one of that one of those headaches watching interstellar and mission impossible fallout i only had that headache twice i'm surprised i didn't get it um, watching this, um, the action in this movie, wow, there's only one I'm allowed to mention because I showed it in the trailer, um, the, this kitchen, um, fight scene, that was really good, I remember that had me probably react the most, um, in this movie, but this other, there's a couple other fight scenes I just can't talk about because it's a spoiler, but it, I, I'll just, I saw a fight scene and I liked it. A lot. <laughs> I'll just say that. Um, Kenneth Brothen, Brothen, Brothen. He gives a fantastic performance, and he is the best actor in the movie. He plays the antagonist in the movie. He does a really, really good job. And I'm surprised I haven't seen him in more stuff because I thought he did a really good job. Um, the musical score. I thought this was Hans Zimmer until I saw the credits and I saw, oh wow, the guy that did Mandalorian and Black Panther. How was really good <laughs> um this movie's um really thought-provoking like i said it, it's a good and bad thing sometimes sometimes half the movie i felt myself thinking about it and really digging it and then the other half i'm like what and so i have it like as a pro and a con but once i like i said once i see this movie more and understand it it's gonna be more of a pro um i love how original this movie is this movie is so original in a time of days where we get nothing but sequels and reboots and blah 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 and blah 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 like we just got new mutants it was just another um mediocre action slash horror movie but this movie is like its own genre it's t time is a genre that christopher nolan has created i think he he put that in inception interstellar and here and this is definitely the Nolan genre at its peak. I'll say that for sure. Um, Robert Pattinson and John David Washington also give really, really good performances as well. And that's all I really could I want to say more about the character. Well, not so much David, John David Washington, because his name's literally protagonist, but Robert Pattinson's character, there's a lot of stuff that's really interesting, but I just can't get into it. Um... The story progression is very, very smooth in this movie. It didn't, it felt 
so natural. It didn't feel like not a single scene drug, not a single scene was too short. It was just, like I said, sometimes what they were saying was just incomprehensible. But um, the, sto the way the story progressed, even though I didn't understand all of it, well, I'll say I wasn't ever completely lost in this movie. I always knew what the goal was. So I just don't understand how they always worked the time manipulation into it. But I always knew the ultimate goal. So I wasn't confused, but I wanted to understand. It's really hard to explain unless if you've seen the movie. But um, once I have multiple watches, I'm going to love this movie. I just know I am. Um, the ending of this movie was perfect. I can't get into it, spoilers, but the ending for this movie, the last about two or three minutes of this movie was really, really good. And it's a pretty good twist too. Um, I love the spy feel of this movie. I don't think I've ever gotten like this really like spy feeling from a Nolan movie before, except for maybe The Dark Knight Rises, but that was more detective. But this is where I truly got a spy feeling and it really worked this time. And overall, Tenet is a really fun watch, and it was just a really satisfying watch, too. They threw a lot of colors and blah, 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 and stuff at you, where I was intrigued from beginning to end. And I have really liked this movie, and I have my score for right now. And that's only for right now, but I know there's like a 95% chance once I rewatch this, it's gonna go up. And right now, I'm gonna give Tenet a 9 out of 10. I really, really did like it. Um, But yeah, like I said... It's probably going to go up. By the time I probably have watched this movie about 10 times, it's probably going to be like a 9.6 if I had to guess. So I, I'm, but right now, my problems could stay. So I'm going to stick with 9. So yeah, anyways, that's my review for Tenet. I can't believe I just said, anyways, that's my review for Tenet. Wow. <laughs> so yeah, anyways, like, share, subscribe, and stuff like that. And adios.